After returning to her hometown, a teenager brought up in the big city meets a wild horse and decides to help him free the trapped animals from the clutches of an evil group. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Spirit, Untamed, from 2021. During an artistic performance, a woman rides a horse, parading elegantly while her family is in the audience watching the show. She jumps too high, but ends up having a fatal accident. A few years later, a young girl called Lucky feeds her squirrel friend, but is interrupted by her aunt Cora, who demands that she leave the animal and do her math homework. Suddenly, the squirrel called Tom knocks on the girl's window, so when she opens the passage, he rushes in frantically, running away from the girl. He quickly runs down the corridors of the living room and jumps through the air, then Lucky hangs onto a rope to chase him. At the same time, the girl's grandfather prepares to enter the house, followed by several important people who accompany him. However, when he opens the door, he finds the house completely destroyed and his granddaughter hanging by her legs. At that moment, a picture falls in front of him and a squirrel jumps on his face. The next day, Lucky learns that the incident with his grandfather has appeared in the local newspaper. During the journey to Miradero, her father's town, the girl questions her aunt about why the man abandoned her. At this point, Lucky discovers that he was unable to raise her on his own, as her mother perished very young in an accident involving horses. When Cora leaves the train cabin for a second, the girl decides to open the window and loses her hair bow, which flies out due to the force of the wind. She then comes across a wild horse chasing the locomotive, along with other equines that appear right behind it. The group of animals ends up losing speed and falling behind the train, so Lucky decides to go to the last carriage, where his aunt Cora is. The woman tries to get a suite while talking to another lady, then ends up getting distracted and notices that her niece is hanging outside the carriage. When she sees the young woman about to fall, she gets scared and spits her food at the grumpy old woman in front of her. Lucky throws her body out of the locomotive once again and, just as she is about to reach the horse, a cowboy appears to pull her back. Sometime later, the aunt and niece arrive in the small town of Miradero. They are surprised by the rustic atmosphere and the animals in the middle of the train station. When the locomotive leaves, Lucky is enchanted by the town's rodeo festival and goes to the arena. She's watching a horse show, then the women recognize her and call her Fortuna, handing her a bow that belonged to her mother, which surprises her even more. Afterwards, the announcer introduces his daughter, Prudence Granger, who is the grand champion alongside her mare Tika Linda. Together, they perform some tricks in the arena. Suddenly, Cora appears on the other side of the fence, looking for the girl and having to cross a corral full of cows to get to her. Thanks to this distraction, the aunt and niece miss the only ride they had to get to the Prescott house. Just then, a small blonde boy, known as Snips, appears on a mini donkey and offers to give them a lift. However, his little donkey is unable to carry Cora. Even so, the child demands that they pay for the service. Suddenly, Miss Abigail Stone appears and uses a rope to capture her brother. After returning Cora's money, the young woman leaves Snips behind. When they arrive at Jim Prescott's house, Lucky's father, aunt and niece find the guy in the barn, who is surprised by his daughter's visit. When they enter the house, they realize that the place is a dumping ground for trinkets. On the other hand, the girl's room is very organized and has lots of toys, which her father realizes she won't be using at that age, which embarrasses him. When Jim leaves his daughter's quarters, she finds a crack behind her closet, where there is a hidden room. On the other side of the wall, she finds various objects of her mother's, such as a photo carousel that simulates her riding a horse. Soon after, the girl goes to explore the town and finds the stable, where she meets young Prudence Granger, who is the daughter of Mr. Al, the man who runs the farm. Suddenly, they hear a strange movement and come across a guy trying to tame a wild horse. The animal leaps out of control, throwing the man from side to side, causing him to crash hard into the fence. After that, the horse runs towards him, forcing him to jump to the other side of the paddock to protect himself. At this point, the pedestrians lasso the equine, which pulls them all with ferocity, so El Granger demands that the subjects respect the animals. At that moment, Lucky realizes that in the middle of the pack is the same wild horse she had met on the train. So the young woman decides to set him free and asks Prudence to help her fill his trough with water. During dinner, the girl tells her father some stories and ends up accidentally throwing food in her aunt's face. Even so, the woman doesn't get angry with her. The teenager says that she has met a new friend, the horse that has arrived at the corral, which she decides to call Spirit. At the same time, Mr. Prescott forbids her to go near the place and the animals, as his wife perished in an equine accident. The next day, Lucky disobeys his father and goes to the stable again, where he finds his friend bound cruelly by a rope. The girl is surprised when Prudence appears and advises Lucky to be calm, 
trusting in to give the animal carrots to approach her. The little girl tries to feed him potatoes, but Abigail Stone appears and says that horses like sweet things, handing her an apple instead. Lucky offers the apple to Spirit, but he refuses. Then Abigail throws the fruit at him, without getting close to him, and the animal accepts the food. The next day, young Prescott fills a bag with apples to take to the stable, and her father, not knowing where his daughter is going, tries to talk to her, but Lucky is still hurt by being forbidden to go near the farm animals. When she arrives at the corral, the young woman notices that the horse is getting closer and closer to her, but he still doesn't feel completely confident in the teenager. On a rainy day, she ends up falling asleep in the rain, which makes Spirit approach her little by little, accepting the apple she offers. At the same time, the head of the men who were trying to tame him watched the scene intrigued. After a few hours, the girl enters the paddock, which makes the wild horse nervous. The young Prescott realizes that the animal is imitating her steps, so she makes him approach her little by little. When the two are close to each other, Lucky gives him a sweet and finally manages to cuddle him. The girl runs her hand through his mane and tries to mount him, but he gets scared and knocks her to the ground. However, the little girl doesn't give up and tries one more time, but Snips comes out of nowhere and scares the animal, causing a sudden reaction that makes Spirit throw his companion away. The little blonde boy reaches for a carrot to give to the animal and opens the gate without realizing that Lucky has just ridden Spirit, leaving the way open for the pair to speed off into town. The two reach the rodeo arena quickly, but the horse keeps running. Snips warns Jim that his daughter is heading towards the canyon on a wild horse, which makes the man desperate. At the same time, Lucky crosses a stone bridge that breaks as soon as she reaches the other side. The young girl loses control and rides backwards on the equine. Even though Prudence and Abigail try to advise her to stay calm, the girl despairs as she looks at the huge cliff below her. Faced with this situation, the other girls try to approach quickly with the aim of rescuing Lucky before the wild horse jumps across the gap. Just then, Spirit flies over the abyss and the young Prescott manages to hold on to her friends. Soon afterwards, Jim arrives at the scene and gives the teenager a scolding because he had forbidden her to ride a horse, as this could end in tragedy. Later that night, the girl goes to the secret room in her bedroom and puts on her mother's boots. While Jim is talking to his sister in the kitchen, he doesn't notice that Lucky has just sneaked through the window, stolen some apples and headed for the backyard. The young woman then walks along the train tracks and encounters some fireflies along the way. Then she enters a forest filled with dense fog. During her walk, Lucky comes across thousands of fireflies and, while she is marveling at the spectacle, she hears a noise. Soon after, she realizes that the cause of the sound is Spirit, who is quietly approaching. She uses her tricks to approach the equine in a friendly manner, who steals the apples from her bag the second she hugs him. Suddenly, other horses appear from the forest, but Spirit tries to chase them away. However, young Prescott throws fruit at them, causing the animals to come closer. Among the herd of adult animals, there's a baby who approaches the girl and plays with one of the fruits. A few moments later, the horses raise their heads in fright as they realize the cowboys are approaching and start lassoing them one by one. Immediately, Spirit is on the front line trying to protect his family and Lucky is worried about her friend. In this moment of distraction, the young woman ends up falling when the train arrives on the scene. Within minutes, the animals are dragged into a wagon and the wild horse appears, knocking down all the henchmen at once. The young Prescott tries to defend the equines, but ends up receiving a blow from Hendrix, who is attacked by Spirit. Nevertheless, the locomotive leaves with the animals and Spirit follows behind the vehicle, leaving his human friend alone. However, Lucky is surprised when the animal returns and bends down for her to mount it. The two then set off together for the village. Lucky goes to Prudence for help in confronting the thieves and freeing the wild horses. Together, they look at the map and realize that there is a very long distance between the village and the train, but they can cut the distance by crossing Hex Mountain. The problem is that it would take them a whole day and night to carry out this plan. Even if they manage to get through the dangerous place, they have to get the horses off a speeding train, which would be impossible. So they decide to break into the locomotive during the stop to refill the water. Just as the pair are about to talk about a horrifying place called Remorse Hill, Abigail appears and tells them that it is home to treacherous and dark creatures who can attack them at night, as well as dangerous gorges from which they can fall. So Prudence decides not to take part in the mission, hurting her friend who says she will go alone with her horse spirit. Just as she is about to start her journey, Lucky is surprised by Abigail and Prudence, who have changed their minds about accompanying her on the mission. The trio then pass through various types of forests and flowery fields. Meanwhile, young Prescott takes the opportunity to learn to ride a horse, getting used to riding and receiving tips from her colleagues. When they reach a deserted spot, 
they come across a bridge that sways from side to side, and the moment Prudence's horse steps on the structure, it collapses over the precipice. When Little Prescott thinks of looking for another way, Abigail waves from the other side of the mountain and assures her that it will be easy to jump there. However, Prudence believes that this is not a good idea, as Lucky is still learning to control her companion's reins. However, Spirit storms off and Prudence advises her friend to trust her partner. As they jump, the wild horse ends up slipping and falling over the cliff with the young Prescott. At the bottom of the chasm, the girl gets up and realizes that her horse is fine. Immediately, she mounts the animal again and tries to trust it to get them up the steep mountain. Shortly afterwards, the group of friends arrive at the terrifying canyon, a horrifying gorge that they must cross to reach the locomotive. Before they can give up, Spirit decides to go ahead, asking his companion to trust him. At that moment, the teenager closes her eyes and lets go of the animal's mane, giving it complete freedom. In an attempt to calm down, she sings a song and Abigail begins to follow her as she plays her guitar. On the other hand, Prudence is nervous about accompanying them across the gorge, but decides to go ahead. Together they manage to cross the ominous gorge and later decide to set up camp for the night. At the same time, in Miradero, El Granger finds Snips tied up by his feet in his corral. When he sees him, the boy reveals that the girls have locked him up to chase a train full of equines. Immediately, the man informs Jim that his daughters have gone on a mission to save a group of wild horses and will cross the terrifying canyon alone, without adult supervision. In the mountains, the teenagers are surprised by the arrival of the train and run towards it on their horses. As she approaches the vehicle, Lucky stands over her companion and then makes her way to the main cabin, where she finds Hendrix. After defeating one of the opponents with a well-placed kick, the teenager climbs onto the top of the locomotive and fights the rest of the bandits, knocking them all down with ease. At that moment, Prudence and Abigail release the horses from their prison and the young Prescott begins to float in the air, realizing that it was all a dream. Suddenly, Lucky wakes up from her reverie, frightened because the train has arrived early. What's more, Spirit is already running after the vehicle. Before little Prescott can reach him, the wild animal is lassoed by the cowboys, then her friends come running up on their equines, but Spirit is caught in one of the wagons and the locomotive leaves the place at high speed. They struggle to reach their enemies, but are unsuccessful. Meanwhile, Al and the Prescott family also travel on a private train in order to find their daughters. At the same time, the bandits arrive at the ship's boarding platform. During the quiet night, the girls come riding up quickly. As Lucky approaches the wagon, she jumps straight onto the train and looks for her friend, just as the girls are distracting the cowboys. Young Prescott manages to break the lock on the cage in which Spirit is being held and escapes with him. However, the enemies have already transported all the horses to the boat and are setting sail. Still, the group of friends continue to chase the ship, but one of the cowboys tries to capture Prudence and she manages to knock him down. Then Abigail ties two people around a barrel and buys lucky time to reach the boat. The young woman quickly climbs onto a platform and prepares to make a dangerous jump to the boat, which frightens Jim and Cora, who have just arrived on the scene. Spirit takes a few steps back in order to get enough distance to jump and they both manage to land safely. Without wasting any time, the bandits go after the wild horse and the girl hides to save the other animals. The guys tie up Spirit, who throws them away and then kicks one of them. Meanwhile, Lucky tries to free the horses and ends up being interrupted, but one of the animals kicks the henchman and she manages to open the cage. During the battle, Spirit finishes off almost all the thieves, leaving only one man who jumps into the water to try to escape the animal's fury. However, Hendrix is still standing, so Lucky gets on her horse and rushes towards the man, who receives a blow and is thrown into the water. Young Prescott manages to untie the rope from her friend's neck, but he is too scared to jump into the water, so she reassures him so that they can jump together. Soon after, the rest of the animals also leave the ship, but the youngster is afraid to swim for the first time, so he is encouraged by the other horses. Lucky calls for spirit and the horse realizes that she is drowning. Seeing his daughter in danger, Jim goes to her rescue and pulls her back to the surface. On the beach, Abigail and Prudence are captured by two bandits who throw ropes at their horses. However, Al Granger throws a barrel at the men, causing them to release the teenagers. Minutes later, the rest of the animals arrive on dry land and suddenly Hendrix emerges from the water right behind Lucky. Just then, Aunt Cora comes across the guy and strikes him on the head. He tries to return the blow, but ends up being lassoed by young Prescott. Spirit then pulls the rope and drags the villain onto the sand. Then the young horse sits on him. Soon after, father and daughter make up and the girls return to the village with the wild animals, taking the herd back to the wild. Along the way, the girls come across a valley perfect for freeing the horses, so Lucky says goodbye to her companion. 
Nevertheless, he rides in front of the girl, inviting her to stay with him in the forest. But even though her heart is broken, the teenager says she can't abandon her family. After saying goodbye to the girls who rescued them, the horses run happily through the field and celebrate their freedom. A few days later, Lucky wears one of her mother's dresses to the village festival and has a good time with Jim, who invites the girl to live with him permanently. When she finds out that the girl has accepted the invitation, Cora also decides to stay in town and Jim decides to go on stage to sing a song in honor of his daughter. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.